Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Toro in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use effects to stand out in your music. Now, this goes for producers, mix engineers, uh, creators, vocalists. If you record music, effects are so important to help you stand out. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean and how to incorporate this into your workflow so it's not such a burden on you as far as trying to accomplish effects or it going too crazy for you. So check this out. So first and foremost, let's play this one sound right here. And let's put this here. So let's play this sound right here. Listen closely. Okay, cool melodic type loop. Now, we got this from a place, uh, you know, and obviously downloaded it from a pack and we put this in there. It's actually one of my beats that I made. Now, granted, I know in my head, a thousand other people have this sound. So, what do I do to stand out? I'm going to use effects to stand out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use effects to do so. Watch how quickly and how easily, and stick around for this, because I got a big surprise for you in this video of how I do this. Watch this. Open this up. I'm gonna take you through a bunch of effects. Check this out. A bunch of really cool effects that I just added to this without basically doing anything, just really quick, dialing it in and now standing out from other people. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a new product in the HMD HelpMeDevon.info store, the HMD Studio Rack Effects Rack. Now available, uh, all you would need to download is the Waves Gold Bundle and your Golden, and you can have this effects rack ready to go at any point uh, in your music. Now. The reason why I created this and I felt like it's very important is because I learned something very special from a Timbaland masterclass, shout out to Timbaland. Basically in his sessions, he would have a bunch of effects ready to go on a separate track. Let me show you what I mean. If we come on over to here, you'll see that I have this effects rack. You see it says effects rack two. Basically there's a bunch of effects that I have here ready to go. LFO tool, I have a chorus effect, I have a lo-fi effect, I have a, a motion plugin effect, I have this other uh, modulation effect. What he likes to do is put a lot, he likes to put a lot of his effects on a separate track, ready to go, so that if he just wants to dial in and try things, it's right there. And this is really dope to incorporate into your workflow because now, instead of trying to search for an effect in your thing, you go to your favorite effects. You know your favorite effects, you know your favorite flangers, you know your favorite phasers. Put them on a separate track and bring them over. So what I plan, tr decided to do was basically create an all-in-one plugin for myself that I can basically just use my favorite effects whenever I want with one knob, which is what I'm presenting to you with the HMD Studio Rack effects rack available in the description below. Now, let's say for instance that uh, you had this effects rack set up, right? And this is full of a bunch of your favorite plugins. Check out what it does with your favorite stuff. So I'll play this again, check this out. Super ill, and that's just me throwing that on. That's an LFO tool, I love that plugin. Let's try this plugin right here, that's called uh, Portal. Let's put this over, listen to what it sounds like.
really cool sound. Now, I like to have these plugins there. They're just my go-to effects, and it's really simple and easy to set it up that way. Granted, I created the Studio Rack Effects Rack HMD uh, to basically give me it fast and quickly when I'm working with my stuff. Because like I said, when you're working and you're doing your music, it's really hard to stand out without basically uh, being unique. And that's what we're trying to accomplish as far as it's a concern. So I'm gonna show you what this e does even to vocals. It's really, really sick. And we spent a lot of time making this, believe you me. So check this out. We'll open up this vocal right quick, solo it. And now let's turn this on mute and here we go. I know Sandy trying to fuck with me. I know she wet up on that suit. Ooh, you know a nigga got love for you. My nigga Patrick coming too. Cool. Now, now that you heard the vocal, check this out. Let's play with it with the effects rack. I know Sandy trying to fuck with me. I know she wet up on that suit. Ooh, you know a nigga got love for you. My nigga Patrick coming too. I know Sandy trying to fuck with me. So you can basically mix and match this thing to anything you want. You take it, you put it on vocals, you take it, you put it on instruments, you can take it and put it on basically anything to give yourself a more unique sound from what you already started with. Quick and easy, simple, try it. It works. It's so cool to have in your workflow. It is now a part of my workflow that I'll be using from here on out. So remember, you can get that in the description below. Uh, it's the HMD Studio Rack Effects. Also remember to comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you comment uh, in the bottom as well and let me know what you guys want to see and how you felt about everything and and what you like from the video Make sure you follow us at help me Devon on the Instagram and make sure you also follow us on our discord community with a lot of professionals Like yourself learning trading secrets and just giving game So that was my tutorial on basically how to use effects to get uh, To get to, to stand out in your music a little bit more and until next time you guys. <laughs>